Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marco Cinelli. I'm Stephen Geary. I'm Alessandro Cinelli. I'm Tom Julian Jones. We go around town under the name of the Cinelli Brothers. What we do might be not please for everybody, but it's blues. Rhythm and blues, soul, a little bit of rock, mostly our own music. We like to do some covers every now and then. That's it. Yeah, yeah. that's about right. Everything we do is blues based, so I would say we are still a blues band at our core, but uh, we like to add our own spice and things on top and make our own vibe and sound out of the blues music. So it's true, a little bit funky, but isn't that what everyone wants? Hanging on by the skin of her teeth, clothes are filthy, got nothing left to give. I don't know how we got here. The beers are flat and the people look the win. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. Come on, guys. Hot time and Well, I think we like to think of ourselves more as a pop band, but with really deep blues sonorities and influences. So, yes and no, I guess. But the great thing is we can cross a lot of boundaries, so we can move from you know, the typical blues festival to another type of festival to another type of festival and we can still fit in the bill. Blues music is uh, probably the most spectacular miracle of music of the modern music ever since Bach and Beethoven, I think. It's just uh, the best of the best, the best of Irish music, the best of European music mixed with Africa. So, uh, in a strange way that, like harmonically, it doesn't make any sense, you know. If even Bach was here listening to the blues to this minor third and ma major third, and all seven chords are not going anywhere. It will say, what is this? What is this? Why? But, but it works. It works so well because the blues talks the mind and talks the guts. Now, after centuries of um, playing the um, blues, we're just the grand, 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 grand children of the blues. It's, it's the original dance music, which is what I think is the definition of blues. It's, it's one of the first things that in clubs and crossed racial boundaries that people got together and danced. And it's what birthed rock and roll and all modern music that we know today. So it's very important. Thank you, we will let you know. And I believe, I believe, the fact that after all, it's about a century, yeah? The blues is a century old, and uh, we are the great, great children, great grandchildren, yes, of the greatest of the past. So, what we do is an humble tribute. We don't invent anything new, but we claim just to shuffle the deck once more. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. We are four Quaker guys who live in England. Just, just we love the blues. We love like the British sound. We love some rock and roll, uh, and we love jazz. The four of us appear to have this in common. So, yeah. and it, it shows in the way you play. You know, we don't think anymore like in in tags or like um, in boxes. Like let's do some jazz. Let's do some soul. This is our sonority. But like my brother said before, we have a pop approach of the whole thing we believe like we we can be we can please the young audience the very young audience because we we claim we understood what is the good thing about the blues which is like a driving force that makes you dance yes. and makes you feel good you know because that what it was all about you know uh, there is a problem nowadays i believe in the m many blues bands they everybody can play the blues very well but ask yourself what is the thing that made the blues the greatest music in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, for three decades was the up... Yeah. Exactly. Whatever it is, there is... 
for a show, a real show, you know? The, whatever it is, it's in there, it's the, in the blue scale, the, the, the famous uh, fifth, you know, the flat fifth, you know, or the four shaft, I don't know, the blue note, the minor and the major, the sonorities that are like in between being like total trash and extreme, extremely good sounding and these like uh, raspy, gritty voices, I don't know what it is, but the chemistry of the blues, it is what makes the blues the greatest music ever. And let's ask ourselves, do we really understand why the blues was such a great music? And if it was, why shouldn't young people dance to it anyway? Well, they call me the blues. I keep going down the road. My father, our father, uh, was a fan of like Americana and uh, British music and of course a little bit of blues, but it wasn't like his main thing. I guess I, well the three of us share a nice experience because the, I guess I saw the Blues Brothers, the movie, when I was 11. It was a tender age for you to get impressed by, I, I was very impressed by the blues, you know, this, uh, yeah, especially the scene in uh, Maxwell Street where Joel Luker sings. That scene it was really a, um, uh, a turning point for me. Mark and I re recently discovered that we both saw the Blues Brothers at the same age and we were both fell in love with the Maxwell Street scene with John Lioka playing boom 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 and that's that's the reason I play... It's two booms only. It's boom, two boom boom. boom yeah. Oh sorry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no because you're very picky about titles and stuff. Sorry, don't mind. <laughs> How dare you? How dare I? <laughs> But uh, the third boom was to just to say yeah, how good, how good the how scene was. How boomy you know? the scene, yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, and I was like, after that I started guitar, my teacher was into blues because I had lessons and not, my brother Alessandro followed my trail on the blues, we listened to blues, that's it. And with the passion for blues um, was over, overtook the passion of the blues for of my father. We carry the blues at home. He was just a, a, a huge lover of Stevie Ray. What about your uh, whereabouts and backgrounds? Uh, well, I came from a classical music background. Thank you very much. What about what about what about you, Steve? <laughs> You're rude. You're rude. Please, please keep going. <laughs> No, I used to, uh, my first instrument was uh, I played trumpet, cla uh, classical music, and then I just uh, started teaching myself harmonica and guitar, and I, uh, the, the trumpet and classical music fell away completely, and uh, I al always was into funk and uh, folk music and a lot of all American music, but really the thing that, uh, that set it off for me was, uh, weirdly enough, John Lee Hooker. The first album I ever bought with my own money was House of the Blues by John Lee Hooker. So. We're just four honest musicians that want to make a good living what we're doing and we really put everything 100% into every show we do no matter what venue, what country we're in and I think it shows because the response we get is always amazing and we make people happy and what we want to do is, is give a show where people come and they they forget about their problems for the two hours that they watch us play and they go away feeling elated and feeling great and thinking I need to listen to more blues. That's what we want. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Well, Mr. Waters don't mind if I do. Gotta play those meanless till I die. Thank you. Tom Julian Jones, everybody.